वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड्स दिस साइड सोनिया हियर एंड टुडे आई हैव डिसाइडेड टू डू डिकोपाज बट विद पैटर्न पेपर्स यस यू हर्ड मी राइट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू डिकोपाज विद पैटर्न पेपर्स सो हियर व्हाट आई हैव इज अ ब्यूटीफुल पेपर पैक फ्रॉम क्राफ्ट स्ट्रीट एंड द थीम ऑफ दिस पेपर इज इंडिगो रोजेस एंड इट हैज गॉट ब्यूटीफुल पैटर्न सो ऑल दीस डिजाइंस आर अवेलेबल इन दिस पैक एंड so when i am saying pattern paper this uh, is the design what i have or uh, decided to use on my tray now this tray is 8 by 8 and i am going to have this design on this piece of tray now the thickness of this paper is approximately 200 gsm which is really 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 thick so let me keep this aside now and start with my work but first i need to trim down my paper so yes here is my trimmer very uh, first thing what i need to do is i need to mark that uh, of what size i need to cut my paper now with the pencil i will be just marking this side and this side so approximately this is going to be the square which i will be needing so with my trimmer i can just take out this part so that i can cut the full sheet at one go and yeah so so cutting becomes really easy if you have a really good trimmer i'm a big 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 fan of uh, canry brand uh the trimmer what i use regularly the a4 size trimmer which is really good for all the big size papers and this one is from tim holtz which i again love so 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 much so let me just try to put this inside and see okay this is uh getting fixed properly i need to take it out so yeah so if i put it down uh i can actually put it really in a good way i just need to trim down for maybe 1 mm types so that smoothly fits into this and this is fitting perfectly can i so as you can see the colors or uh, the flower shapes are Oops, I'm taking this out because this is just of the perfect measurement. Okay, let me put it this way. Okay, this fits perfectly, which is good for me. Now I need to do my paint work before sticking this. But before that, I also need to uh, trim this paper for the sides. Yes, I am going to have these papers on the sides also. So. let me mark this again with my pencil i will be marking all the sides really really well so this is one this is the length what i will be needing so in the same way i will be marking the second length too now first i will trim down this size okay let me just trim this down with my scissor cause i might need that paper
now i need to color my tree and i am going to use this blue color shade and i'm hoping that this will match to my um, pattern paper what i have chosen the pattern paper is absolutely absolutely gorgeous and i just want to make sure that uh, just in case if my paper runs smaller uh, the edges look really neat and good that's the reason i'm adding up the colors here and now from the edges i am going to run my colors up to the borders now this is just just to make sure uh, that my borders are uh, easily covered with really nice blue shade uh, here i'm using my acrylic uh, paint you can use chalk paints too uh, you can use other mediums too but I was more keen on using my uh, acrylic paint cause uh, I love the shade and this was actually matching really well with my pattern paper. You can use sponge dauber for this process but I was a little more uh, like I said keen on uh, doing the blue shade and this shade really matched my pattern paper now right now I will be doing one coat of paint then I am going to let it dry completely uh, using my heat gun and uh, then I will be doing the second coat yes of course i am going to do two coats of paint here because i really want to have really a uh, nice shade on my base so you why did i uh, choose to color on this side of my tray the center part is because at times now these are not the machine made trays these are manually made by men so at times there is a difference of 1 mm 2 mm of gap can be seen and uh, it might be plus or minus so just to be a little assured that uh, yes you do not see the background i chose to color the blue color on the edge okay so here I am done with my inner side of color now uh, like I said I have just I am going to put my paper only on the uh, two sides of the board so what I'm going to do is I am going to color up my edges edges immediately on the spot and then I'm going to color up these two sides of my tray
okay so i'm done with my coloring and all the four sides are done and it's looking absolutely gorgeous um now it's time to stick my paper and for that uh, for that i am going to use my matte finish mod podge uh yes you must be thinking that as a tissue paper i could have sticked that with anything but i do not want to take any chance and i really want my paper to turn out good so that's the reason oops oops oops, oops. So that's the reason I am using my matte finish mod podge. Now with the flat brush, I will be applying it on the complete base. Now I need to just make sure that I do not uh, add any uh, glue on the sides. Because usually if you apply uh, mod podge on the sides or any other any areas, you can see the mark just a slight mark there is no uh, dark visible patch but it's just a thin mark that is also like if you are making it you will be able to know that so that's the reason I just uh, want to avoid having too much of glue on the sides just the perfect amount so that it does not come on the top of it Okay, so here I am done with applying my glue. So this is done and now I have to stick this and I will be sticking it this way. So I'm just putting up my paper inside this and I need to make sure I need to make really sure that I stick all the edges really really well and can you see that it's already looking so gorgeous it's already looking so 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 beautiful now I will be taking up this brush and very generously I will stick this pressing it really good so that if there are any gaps or bubbles it just fills up quickly and nothing is there out so yeah <clears throat> this is done now I need to stick my two patches now these are the two strips which I had trimmed down from the same paper pack and now I will be sticking this one now here again the same thing I just want to make sure that I don't overdo my decoupage glue Okay, so this is done and now I will be sticking this paper here and it has sticked so so well and it's looking gorgeous just imagine a tray 
with this beautiful pattern paper and this looks really 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 nice now once i'm done with the pressing of this area again with this sponge i will give it a quite good press. next is to stick the other side this is the last decoupage napkin uh, decoupage sorry the pattern paper which we have to stick so if you are a beginner and uh, you are confused on uh, how to uh, do the sticking work and you are not really sure then this is your thing you can always you can always start with the decoupage uh, the pattern papers or the decoupage papers and they work wonderfully on any of your base so this is done now let me stick this paper here now as you can see the uh, the more perfectly the paper is trimmed down it looks more beautiful so yes here it is done and with my sponge i'm just giving it a good press and wow this is looking really 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 amazing this is looking beautiful just make sure that there are no bubbles at all with this thick paper there are very low chances of having any kind of wrinkles so yes but you need to make sure that bubbles are not there at all now i'm done with my sticking work and now it's time to do uh, some nice color touch up so here what i have is a yellow color acrylic paint and this is a dot mandala making tool so i am going to do some nice dot painting work on this now before this step you need to make sure that your paint has dried out well your base color whatever the work you have done on the base it should have dried out it should dry out really really well now i will just put some nice random dots on the sides of the tree now <clears throat> on the two sides i have already put up the pattern paper so i don't need to do any work there but here uh, the sides were plain so i thought of adding nice polka dots here and they are going to look really good just a den gentle uh, drop and you are done so uh, i have tried doing this thing with my uh, paint brushes the back side of the paint brushes but i just felt that uh, this technique is much easier this tool is a really a wonderful gift if you love dot mandala or if you want to make such kind of patterns in any of your uh, artwork
<coughs> now one side is done and I really need to dry it well before moving to the next side because otherwise it is just going to overlap the colors and it is going to be a good mess there so my uh, work is done it's almost done and now it's time for a very 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 important tip now uh, whenever you're using your decoupage uh, napkins the lines the thickness is not visible at all but when you are using your uh, pattern papers they are really thick can you really see the white lines now can you see the white lines can you make out that there is something of white lines here and if it's and otherwise if you see this side can you really see anything no there's nothing what you can see but here you can see a very fine white line that is nothing but the thickness of your paper now how to hide it so there is no rocket science in hiding that so what i usually do is i just dab some color the same color what i've used in my base and i just cover it up with my fingers so you need to make sure that it does not too much overlaps on your pattern paper but it should very lightly cover up the white line this is a very very useful tip now can you really see the difference can you see the difference <coughs> that here you cannot see any line but here you can see the white line now when you see from the top you can see that it's just a nice tray but from here you can see that something is there on the other side which we really don't want so this tip really really work this is a uh, very important tip which i always 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 do now can you really make out that there was something white lines here no but here you can see now we will be repeating the same process this same step for all the sides just take a tinge of color and rub it on the sides and it's done So yes, this is done now and it's looking like a complete one piece tray. I just realized that there is some extra um, decoupage paper coming out. Sorry, my pattern paper coming out. So I'll just trim this down and again I will brush this up with the same shade please make sure that you do not take too much of color here now this is done and it's looking absolutely absolutely gorgeous and now i need to run my heat gun to speed up the drying process so my one side has dried out completely and now it's time to move on to the other side and here I will be repeating the same pattern of coloring.
Okay, so my tree is ready and it's looking absolutely gorgeous and now it's time to add sealer to it. So here what I am going to do is I am going to have my Asian paint water based varnish. Yes, you heard it right. It's a water based varnish and I am going to apply this on my complete tray. Now why varnish is important like uh, for everything, for every artwork you need to seal that you really need to completely seal that so that you can keep that for longer time it lasts for longer time and that is why we do handmade artwork and here in this case also we will have to do a good coat of varnish and this is going to be the seller and this is going to make sure that once your artwork is done it has dried out and when you are using it it actually stays uh, longer with you now wherever you have done the acrylic paint work you need to be really quick don't overdo the shades there and so with this the tutorial is done and i really hope you all enjoyed this tutorial yes i'm listing down all the supplies down in the description box do check that and yes all the links are also there to just click and buy all those supplies. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.